Welcome to Yates Makes. This is a quick sketchbook project update. About six weeks ago, I posted a video because I completed this little sketchbook here and I was on a bit of a mission to keep my kind of discipline and sketchbook work going, get on a bit of a roll. So um, here we go. You can see I've managed to keep it going. These two are kind of you know not really included they're just started but these two I've managed to complete in the last six weeks or so so let's have a quick look um, I started in this one in the middle um, with some printmaking uh, I'll link a video above now um, if you're interested in processes that I used to make these images I was kind of experimenting with um, Biro embossing and wax crayon to do some printmaking. Um, then we go back to the beginning. What else is in here? I'm looking at this fresh <laughs> for a, haven't looked in it for a few weeks. Bit of um, book cover illustration work. Just pen and ink sketching. So this is a, a printout on a piece of tissue paper over collage um, using an inkjet printer from a digital sketch I've done on my iPad. Some more printmaking work, just messing around, seeing what type of images will work. Sketching, drawing from magazines. You've seen that. Sketching. This, uh, more printmaking, developed into a kind of a Sasquatch. That was fun. <laughs> mixed media stuff just trying materials that's what I've really enjoyed from getting back into sketchbooks it's just that freedom just to chuck everything at it little portrait of Chuck D why Chuck D? because well he's been speaking since consistently for 40 years one of my heroes just sketching in a meeting more printmaking with some graphic work. Again, revisiting an idea from a previous page over some mixed media work. Sketching for a commission. Yeah, I really enjoyed this page. It's so lovely just to put a group of studies down, you know, in that really kind of unhindered, unpressured way. Have them all in the one place to refer back to, you know, and just enjoy materials. Um, you know, this is reminding me why this was a good idea to revive this sketchbook practice. Again, sketching for little jobs that came in. I went back to, if you see my previous video, the cues that filed past the Queen when she was lying in state, which was televised 24 hours a day for like eight or nine days in this country. I found it mesmerizing. More printmaking, bit of collage work. Again, sketching for a commission. A lot of ink, rolled ink, painted ink, splattered ink. Love it. Love using ink. More printmaking. I don't know, I think I ever finished that. A couple of donkeys. Ah, this one. Lovely way to finish a sketchbook. I was on a, a visit to the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology in Cambridge and um, yeah, using pro markers, fine liners, just standing, sketching. That's why these little A5 really lightweight sketchbooks are fantastic. This one was actually collaged over my um, my son's physics homework. Um, I hadn't realised. I thought it was scrap. Sorry, son. So, yeah, got that one completed. Where did this one start? Again, started in the middle of the book. Um... Continuing from that visit, I popped over the road from the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology to the Zoology Museum. And this is just using a water-soluble pen with a brush pen just filled with water to dilute those lines, create a bit of a wash. Working over with the fine liner once those washes were dry. That's a hippo skull. I really enjoyed doing that one. Did we do other stuff? Yeah, a couple of bugs from the cabinet. 
on that trip. Oh, that's more stuff from the archaeology museum. Let's go back to the beginning. What have we got here? Ah, my favourite masking tape. Ah, oh, this. I was visiting my stepmum, and she had a book on her shelf that I remember from being so young. Some of the first drawings I ever did, a beautifully illustrated book of birds, and um, uh, yeah, this was just really lovely to revisit memories. Um, drawing of a shell. Don't know why. <laughs> a kind of failed print that I turned into this unusual illustration idea that I never finished. Some stick and ink work that eventually got developed into some large scale printmaking. I'll link the video above now if you're interested to see where these ended up. More stick and ink. More printmaking, playing with text. Any of regular viewers to my channel will know I love text. Just playing around with colour and shape. Texture, abstract collage, abstract composition. Again, little fragments of text. Just playing. Seen those. Seen those. More stick and ink work. Ah, this. <laughs> this. I'm going to give a big shout out to my friend Helena. Helena Perry. Um, I'll link her website down below. She's got a little YouTube channel as well. But um, I was looking at her website and some of her recent work. And she loves to use pens but she does beautiful work with brush and watercolour and gouache and um, yeah looking at her work really inspired me to put some washes into this stick and ink little drawing I've done of a beautiful 50cc Honda motorbike that I came across in Suffolk this really brought back memories of childhood as well another little printed motorbike just to go with it um, I love Honda yeah check out Helena Perry I'll link her work. I'll link her website down below now. Um, messing around with rollers to get some texture drawing. This is a something I hope to come back to. A bridge in my local area. One of those beautiful old iron railway bridges. More stick and ink, brush and ink work. Some trees that I saw on the dog walk. Yeah, more text, more stick and ink. Messing around with photo transfers, just having a laugh. Some Memento Mori designs that I'm going to come back to. I really enjoyed doing those. More printmaking, text, layers, stuff that I really enjoy, stencils, similar theme, working over collage. I think that started life as a rubbing off a restaurant table in Oxford and again more messing around with photo transfer on the on the gel plate so another two done since I last spoke to you what else have we got yeah this one started Is this one started yep yeah, this one started too so what am I learning well I'm learning that this format works for me. It's keeping me motivated. It's keeping me interested for the time being. All right, I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated as these two get filled. Nice one. Take it easy, ta-ta.